And welcome to the stadium live in Cologne, where in the sunshine, the evening sunshine, uh, we've got what has been billed as a world record attempt on the 3,000 metres by Saeed Abouita, who's in fourth place, the Moroccan, uh, but also a man to remember is Andiiki, uh, the Kenyan, who's right up there as well. They completed the first lap in just side a minute, uh, 59.3. This is Tinis, the pacemaker in front, followed by Chariot. So they're right on schedule. And to give you a rough guide of the time pace that's needed, you've got to be looking at one minute laps almost all the way. It's seven and a half laps, and the world record held by Rono at uh, 732.1. So just a fraction over uh, 60 seconds and you get into trouble. And the leading four have broken away with only now Dieter Baumann of West Germany in chase in fifth place. And Rono's time was set in Bislett in 78. That's another reason why this Moroccan wants it. It's, uh, it's a terrific record, but look at this. Chariots picking it up. And Ondiiki, Yobi's Ondiiki can't go with the pace and Saeed Awita's letting a gap grow. And that is surprising. Now, this is Charles Chariot, one of twins. His brother won the 1,500 metres earlier this afternoon. He's a terrific Kalenjin runner, and he's going faster still. It's not surprising they're dropping, really, because he kicked in a 59.5 lap, which is the reason they lost touch with him there. And the history of this event, while Henry Rono's all-time best, 7.32-1 in Bisley in 1978, Saeed has the next two fastest times, then our own David Moorcroft, 7.32.79 at Crystal Palace in 82. Then Saeed Awida again and again. Sidney Marie and Brendan Foster's time of 7.35.1 from Gateshead back in 74. Still stands high on the all-time list. And this it may be another reason why Saeed Awida, the decathlon of middle distance running, says he wants this record. He deserves it. And he's going away and the crowd are rising because they think that Omdi Eco can make it. Bauman of West Germany is getting cheered on in third place, but his is academic as Awita takes the bell now. And it's, uh, it is still possible. It's got to go away and he's going away. And Awita's got his head down. He's got to do a 59 second last 400 meters. And I think that Awita can do that. He's being cheered and cheered and cheered. The pacemaking was superb. The setup marvelous. And Awita, with four of the six fastest times, is certain to have five of them. And will it be the world record? Rono's record that stood for the last 11 years of 732.1. And Saeed Awita has made absolutely certain. I think that it's going to be his now. And everyone's sensing it. The gaps grow and grow. It's this man against the clock. He's in the straight. And look at the time on the left. And Awita's going to crack it wide open. He's got 60 metres to go, or is he? He's coming up 10 yards to go. And he's done it. 7.29.46. And that's a huge slice off this world record. And he's made it his own. The world record holder for 1,500 metres, 2,000 metres, 5,000 metres now collects the world record for 3,000 metres and it stands at 7.29.46 and he looks very comfortable indeed.